Good morning to all. Charles McCann, Commissioner here in Lincoln County, and first I just wish to express gratitude that we are here today as a group of people, Lincoln County people and other people who support what we believe in here in Lincoln County. And my remarks will be around really the topic of love as I welcome you to Lincoln County. You know, we're here today because a class at Duval High School, class of 1965, in their wisdom and in their thoughts and their prayers, they decided they wanted to do something to one of their fellow fallen class members who had left Duval High School early to join the Marines. And they came to us as a commission and talked about their thoughts and their ideas. And of course, when we heard their talk, particularly Christy Limble, Bruce Hager, they sort of led the charge representing the class and expressed their concerns and their desires, we immediately, as a commission, decided to, this is a great idea, really for everyone. You know, we, could, we should do this today as Rodney Breedlove Day and all others that has followed like him. And so it is an honor to do that. And I say with the spirit of love, to have a great day like this and not have love in your heart, you don't appreciate life itself. To have such friends here. But you know, when this ordeal started, when Rodney made his mind up, however that may have been when he was 17 or so, and decided to serve his country, I look at that as a love. A love of country is why we serve. It's what we believe in what we defend and you can also relate with me I believe that sitting here is in front is Rodney's mother and there's no love greater than the love of a mother for their child and we come here today I think in that spirit that we love our county we love our people but you know we have to learn to grow we have to learn to have more love and that's what I hope as we do this ceremony today that we all leave here with the feeling that not only are we honoring one of our beloved ones, but also us leave here with the idea that we are a better and a bigger person because we are able to love one another. We're able to love our country and we're able to make things better. And as long as you can understand those four little words, what love really means, whether it be for fellow man or for country or our own living souls, it makes us a better person. And all of us, I believe, based on my experience, we need on occasion to be reminded how important it is to have love. So I welcome you here as a commissioner, as a lifelong Lincoln County, with that spirit in mind that it's your county, it's your space here, and you leave here today with more love than you came with. In order for love to grow, we have to share it. So we welcome you here, and we welcome our governor at this point. And I will end that on that note that we are a better person as we love one another. At this time, I'll turn the program over to our pastor, Ron Scott, at this time. Ron. We're here today to honor a young man, many like him, who gave a big price so that we might stand here today. We cannot do that, I believe, without honoring and inviting, invoking our wonderful Lord who sent us this wonderful day, brought us this wonderful country that we live in and breathe. 
And so uh, we look to Him and we ask Him to be a part of what's going on here today. Meeting here today, we have community leaders behind me and those of interest that have given a great deal to make sure that this day happened. The class of 65 I'm proud of, but we couldn't have done it without these that sit behind us. We appreciate them and we thank them for this on behalf of this tremendous family. We appreciate that so very much. I take part in this invocation today because I believe in the one I'm about to talk to. I believe in Him and have trusted Him. He is my Lord and He is my Savior. And I go to Him on your behalf that we might invoke His blessings upon us. And for the day that He's given us, that we might rejoice together in this celebration of a wonderful man, a good friend, and a man that we are encouraged to know. And uh, I appreciate this good mother and this good family that has often wept and yet swelled with pride over the son that they remember, the brother that was theirs. I implore each of you as we sit here to know Christ as your personal Savior before we stand before Him on that judgment day. Let us pray. Eternal God, we meet with you and beg, Lord, that you would be with us today. Thank you for each of these who gather to show respect and honor to one of our classmates who paid that dear price. God, meet with us today and touch every heart by your presence. Lord, bless this precious mother and family who have wept much and rejoice over their remembrance. Bless in these proceedings. Lord Rodney's name appears on the monument to my left where light seldom strikes. But today we bring that name out of obscurity into the light of your grace to be seen by all who travel the highway of life. God bless this day. Thank you for this time of the year that we may celebrate the resurrection of your dear Son from the death caused by us all. Have your sweet way with us as we prepare for our eternity. In the wonderful name of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The United States of American Marine Corps will now post colors. Will all of you who can please stand, place your right hand over your heart as the national anthem will be played.
that will be on channel six, eight tonight at six o'clock. So we'll be watching it. You may be seated. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Josh Stowers. I serve in the House of Delegates here uh, from Lincoln County, and it is my honor and privilege today to be here and share in such a uh, such a such a wonderful event to honor a life of a true American hero. Uh, one quick story: when I was asked to participate in this, clearly it was something that I wanted to do and and, and was proud to do. But a memory struck me. Uh, when I was first asked. And that was a memory of when I was about 10 or 11 years old and I took my first trip to, uh, to Washington, D.C. With my, with my family, with my parents. And I remember my first trip to the Vietnam Memorial. And my parents, who were uh, a few years younger uh, than, than Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove, uh, knew who he was, knew the sacrifice, uh, because of such a small community, we, we feel uh, those sacrifices together. And I remember them telling me uh, who he was, about his family, about his friends, and I remember going to the wall and finding his name when I was, again, about 11 years old. So it was, it was clearly a, a touching time for me to be, to be a part of this, and it is today. Um, but I'd like to make a few introductions. Uh, obviously, with such, a, with such an event like this, it takes a lot of time and effort and energy on a lot of people's part uh, and to come out and, and, and give it your time and your, and your energy uh, to pay such tribute to, 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 uh, to a true American hero. Uh, but first and foremost, uh, I believe uh, we, should, we should recognize Rodney's family because it is the families of, of, of soldiers that, 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 that pay the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, when, when, when someone serves overseas. And we should recognize that as not only the individuals making the sacrifice of serving overseas, but also the families that remain home and the families that are the support staff of, of those soldiers that not only uh, served then, but continue to serve in the conflicts that we, that, we, uh, that we serve in overseas today. So I'd like to first introduce uh, the, uh, the family of, of, of Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove. Uh, first and foremost, his mother, Miss Josephine Breedlove. Uh, his sister, Miss Cindy Saul. Another sister, Mrs. Pat Holly. And his brother, Mr. Joey Breedlove. I'm sure there are other family members, aunts, uncles, nephews, nieces, and cousins who are very proud uh, to be here today with us, and we thank you that, that you are here today. I'd also like to recognize some veterans organizations that are with us today and, and their representatives from the Allen Creek, uh, Benny Padilla, uh, BFW Post 4768, the Quartermaster Bryant Bowen, and also from the Hamlin American Legion Post 111, Commander Ted Sloan. I'd also like to take the time to recognize any other veterans that are with us. Uh, you, you certainly deserve as much recognition as anyone, and we thank you for your presence here today. I'd also, also like to recognize our Collar Guard, Company A, 4th Combat Engineer Battalion from Cross Lanes. Uh, the, their first sergeant, Nathaniel Glover, who is the non-commissioned officer in charge. And also the company commander, uh, Captain Hill. I'd certainly like to uh, thank the Lincoln County High School Band and the, uh, the co-directors, David and Kim Cook, for, uh, uh, for being here with us today and uh, such a wonderful rendition of the National Anthem. We also have some dignitaries with us today. Uh, first, we'd like to introduce the, uh, the, the sponsor of the Senate Concurrent Resolution, uh, that uh, got this process started to, to, uh, to name uh, the stretch of Route 3 from Yawkey to Julian, which there will be a ceremony for later this month, uh, and the resolution that reads in the program that you were presented today. Um, but the individual who sponsored this on the Senate side was uh, Senator uh, Dr. Ron Stallings. 
Uh, we also have other members that I serve with in the House here today. Uh, the Honorable Greg Butcher. And also the Honorable Rupert Phillips. Uh, we have a representative from the Boone County Commission, Mr. Mickey Brown. And we also have all three members of the Lincoln County Commission here today. Uh, Mr. Charles McCann, who's uh, welcomed everyone. Uh, Mr. Uh, Charles Vance. And Mr. Thomas Raymond. We also have Lincoln County Assessor here, Tracy Dempsey. Uh, I think a special thanks goes out again, I know it's been mentioned a couple times already, to the Duval uh, High School class in 1965. I think it speaks volumes of, of, uh, of, what, of what it means not only to you to have had a friend uh, and uh, someone that was close to you to serve and, and, uh, and give, give a, the ultimate sacrifice, but also to, to, to somehow recognize and honor uh, that memory. You, you do deserve credit and, and our utmost appreciation for, for bringing this, to, for making this day happen. This is your day. Um, we have a couple uh, individuals who are going to speak to you today. Uh, first, we have, uh, uh, it's my honor and, and privilege to introduce our first speaker. Uh, it's someone who uh, I have learned has, has, is, is constantly on the forefront and making certain that uh, that veterans are not only remembered but are honored and 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 are uh, and, and and are in some way, shape, or form given the respect that they deserve uh, for, for obviously being the individuals who, uh, who who give us what we have today. Uh, this individual has always been a proponent of mandatory funding for uh, the VA. Uh, has uh, sponsored uh, numerous amounts of uh, of legislation to make sure that. Uh, that uh, veterans of this country are not forgotten. Uh, so it's uh, with that that I introduce uh, Congressman Nick Joe Rayo. Thank you very much, Josh Stowers. I appreciate the introduction to uh, Pastor Scott for thanking him, without whom none of this or none of us would be here today. I appreciate his invocation to Mrs. Breedlove to members of Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove's family, his sisters and brother and other members of the family that are here today, thank you. Thank you for sharing your loved one with our nation and with uh, all of us as proud Americans. I thank all of our veterans that are present, those in the Marines that have posted the colors and are serving as Mrs. Breedlove's escort, to those that have served in all wars on behalf of our nation, we all say thank you. Thank you for what you have given this country. We know that we live in a country that is free, that freedom is not free, and that too often we do not recognize those for whom we live every day and enjoy the freedoms you have for which you have fought. To our law enforcement personnel, and I see the Sheriff of Lincoln County here as well, thank you for what you do. You are on the front lines each and every day, ensuring that we live by those freedoms for which our veterans fought. To those in the Lincoln High School marching band, to those in the, the generation that will follow us, keep up your good work because America and West Virginia is in good hands because of the strength of our youth and our teachers, those who bestow their knowledge and expertise upon our next generation. To those elected officials that have been recognized and are sitting behind me and with whom I am proud to serve on a daily basis, both at the county level, the state level, and the federal level, I thank them as well for their service on behalf of our people. Because public service is a noble profession and it is one that does that requires devotion and dedication and a great deal of cooperation as we all work together for the betterment of our state. So today is a very proud day. It is a day in which we honor a West Virginia son, a Lincoln County native, by declaring April 21st, 2011 as Lance Corporal, Corporal Rodney A. Breedlove Day. 
It is also fitting that you honor him next weekend with the dedication of State Route 3, a portion of State Route 3, which will be renamed as the Lance Corporal Rodney A. Bree Love Memorial Highway. Today we are reminded of the devotion and the gallantry of this individual. An individual who uh, at age 17 left Duval High School and answered the call of his country. He volunteered to serve in the United States Marine Corps during the most dangerous time of that war known as the Vietnam War. He did so willingly following the call to duty as did his father, B. Mansfield Breedlove, who served in the military during World War II. Rodney was proud to be a Marine and he dedicated himself to serving our great country. But he continued his education while in the Marine Corps earning enough credits to graduate with his classmates at Duval High School in May 1965. Sadly, while serving with his unit in the Quezon Valley on April 21st, 1967, Lance Corporal Breedlove was killed in action during combat operations. He faithfully and courageously served his country, and that service is deserving of much praise, and I'm proud to join all of you his friends and loved ones to dedicate this highway in his honor and this day in his honor. And in particular, we thank at the same time our state of West Virginia for its many young women who have answered the call of duty. We know that during that Vietnam War, it was not a popular war, but we know that on a per capita basis, our great state of West Virginia ranked at the top, if not among, if not the top state in the nation on a per capita basis of sending our young men and women to answer the call of duty. So we are a patriotic state. We love our country. We love our family. We love God. And we love each other. And we answer that call of duty, whether it's in service to our nation or whether it's in times of disaster that that God may inflict upon our state for whatever his reason may be, but we still answer the call of duty and respond to one another's needs. That's what we're about in West Virginia. So I congratulate each of you for being here today and thank again the Breedlove family for sharing their loved one with this nation in such a proud tradition. Thank you and God bless each of you. Thank you, Congressman. Um, our next speaker is, uh, is someone who I've never had the opportunity to serve with in the same legislative body, but I've, I've, I've gotten in the last few years, I've, I've had the distinct opportunity to watch him not only lead the state Senate, but also most recently lead the state of West Virginia. And one of the proudest days that I had in this past legislative session uh, was when I uh, received the opportunity to vote on legislation uh, that he charged us with to make certain uh, that uh, the veterans uh, of this state uh, were more focused on, uh, were more paid attention to by elevating uh, the agency of Veterans Affairs to a cabinet level position. Uh, more so, uh, more attention will be paid to Veterans Affairs due to uh, our next speaker's uh, initiative than it ever has in the state, uh, state history. So it's with that that I introduce to you the governor of the great state of West Virginia, uh, Governor Earl Ray Tom. Thank you. Thank you very much, Josh. It's um, good afternoon to everyone. And as I was driving over here today, I was thinking about the, uh, the remarks here today and, and what the uh, Breedlove family had gone through. And it reminded me of when I was in 1967, when I was a ninth grade student at Chapmanville High School. And my family got the word that uh, a cousin who I'd grown up with and played with, uh, uh, he was an 18-year-old Marine and was shot and killed in, in Vietnam. And uh, it's, uh, it's tough, but it brought back a lot of memories. But our gathering here today is important, yet it's bittersweet. And it's on this occasion that we come together with a mother and a family of Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove. And while he could never be replaced or restored to them in life, he is and will always 
rest in the heart of his mother, Miss Josephine Breedlove. We recognize their loss and the sacrifice that Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove made in the name of freedom. His siblings, the Boone and Lincoln County Commissioners who are with us today, and neighbors who have worked tirelessly to make this commemoration possible, I say thank you. Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove lost his life 44 years ago on this very date. For his loved ones, time, in some ways, has stood still. In learning about Lance Corporal Breedlove, I'm struck by the bravery that he showed in combat, his eagerness to serve his country, and the heartfelt loss that his commanders and comrades openly expressed. Today, as we remember him, let us be reminded of the sacrifices that the men and women in uniform are willingly make for all of us each and every day. Our servicemen and women leave their homes for duty and to foreign lands with uncertain futures. They leave behind their mothers and fathers, their brothers and sisters and sons and daughters. And they not only do this for their families, but they do it for all of us. We often remember that their sacrifices when they return home on special occasions or on holidays, but we must be more diligent in remembering on a daily basis what they have done for each and every one of us and what those currently serving continue to do for us. For without their belief in this country and the actions that they take, our lives will be vastly different. Our freedoms would not be so easily enjoyed. Our country would not be home of the brave and the land of the free. The supreme sacrifice made by Lance Corporal Breedlove and all those who have died for our country have allowed us as Americans to feel secure. However, we must never take that security for granted. We must remember them for the individuals that they were and for the soldiers that they became. 44 years ago today, a young 19-year-old man put aside any reservations that he may have had. He stood behind, beside his fellow Marines on a foreign land and fought for our freedom. And I'm so grateful that he did it. And it's my hope that on this day, the people of Lincoln and Boone counties remember Lance Corporal Breedlove with the highest level of respect and admiration. We thank him for what he did for our country. We thank the Breedlove family for Rodney and all he did. And thank you for being here today. God bless you. Thank you, Governor. Uh, we will now have the land of the wreath.
may be seated. We are uh, we're going to have a, a, a closing by uh, uh, Boone County Commissioner Mickey Brown in just a minute. Uh, following him, we're going to have a, a benediction by uh, Pastor uh, Ronnie Linville. Um, and once the uh, benediction is complete, that will conclude our, our program here today. Uh, but again, thank you so much for coming out, uh, for honoring such a, again, a true American hero uh, on such a beautiful day. Uh, we truly have been blessed. Um, so it's with that, uh, I give it to uh, Mickey Brown. Today, April 21st, 2011, is a special day in both Lincoln and Boone counties as we come together to honor the memory of Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove, who was killed serving our country in Vietnam. Lance Corporal Breedlove was defending our freedom and our way of life. Let us never forget the sacrifice that this young soldier made for you and me. I'm proud to be asked to speak at this road dedication and from now on in time, the memory of Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove will be acknowledged in our hearts and along Route 3 from Yaki to Julian. Every time we enter Route 3, we will remember the sacrifice that Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove made for our country. I'd like to thank everyone for attending this celebration of the memory of Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove and the naming of the Lance Corporal Rodney Breedlove Memorial Highway. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we're so humble, come before you, thanking you for so many blessings of life that you give each of us today. Thanking you for the great nation in which we live and all the brave men and all the brave women who are willing to defend this country and even die to keep this great nation free. We thank you for all these people today that who took time from their busy life to come to get together here today in Hamlin to remember and honor Lance Corporal Rodney A. Breedlove. We pray, Heavenly Father, that this nation will always remember and honor and take care of all those who have defend our country. We pray that our blessings will be with the Breedlove family, especially Josephine, Rodney's mother, and that this day of remembrance will soon have help to ease the pain and the feeling of loss that have had for all these years. Heavenly Father, we pray that your watch will be with us as we leave from here, be with Pat and Sandy and Joey as they travel to Virginia to meet with the men from Rodney's unit. Again, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this great nation. May we always look to thee for guidance and directions. Thank you for your dear Son and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is in his name we pray, and amen.